Hi, I'm Todd Peterson. I'm a Product Marketing Manager on the Identity and Access Management team. And today we're going to talk about building a successful Identity and Access Management project. If you think about it, one of the foundational things that you do in everyday life is Identity and Access Management. You ensure access, you ensure that roles are correct, you ensure that people can get to the stuff they need to do their jobs, you audit what they do to make sure that they're doing it correctly. That's the foundation of Identity and Access Management. But it's very, very difficult. We run into customers all the time that are in the sixth year of a three-year IAM project and they're way over budget. Or they simply are not attacking IAM because they're afraid of the expense and the complexity and the things that it's going to do to their operations. It doesn't have to be that way. Let's start with what are some of the common pitfalls that destine an IAM project to fail. The first one is what I'll call a la carte. You have a problem, so you deal with that problem. And then you have another problem, you're going to go shopping again and find another solution to deal with that problem. Another thing comes up, you go get another solution. So you end up solving the problem of the day, but you don't address everything. So you end up with solutions that do fundamentally the same thing on different systems or for different teams or for different access scenarios such as on-premise versus remote or you know, a partner versus an, a customer versus an employee. So you end up with this big mix of solutions that do a good job but don't address the whole thing. So you end up with as much complexity to end as you had to start with. The other option is what people have been doing for a number of years, which I'll call the one size fits all, which may really be the one size fits none. That's where you go and buy a very expensive, very cumbersome, very rigid, and entirely customized framework that's going to address what you're told is enterprise identity and access management, but it really only deals with subsets. There's always things on the outside that may end up needing an a la carte approach as well. So you have more complexity, it's very rigid. As new things come up, as customers or employees evolve, things change, you're unable to adapt as quickly as you need to, so security suffers, operations suffer, etc. And the third way is where you deal with only the obvious front end of identity and access management. That's where you do provisioning only. You set up specific rules for how a specific person or a specific role accesses specific applications. And then you repeat it for another application and for another application. And then you repeat it again for another user type. So you end up getting that right, but there's a lot of things underneath that don't happen. You're unable to do governance because all you're focused on is provisioning. You have things outside of the scope of your provisioning project that aren't happening. So the result is you end up with a very inefficient approach to identity and access management. It's very inflexible. You're not able to adapt as things change, as user populations evolve, as new technologies come on board. You can't adopt new technologies as quickly as you would like. You're exposed in an audit. Because everything's done in a silo, you have the risk that some areas are not as secure as they should be, and an auditor will find that. You have more risk for that exact same reason. There are weaknesses where bad guys can come in and do things. And you have uncertainty. You never really know if you're doing things the right way. But in our years of experience, we've seen a number of strategies that people can take to overcome these problems. Let's clear the board and talk about those. The recipe for IAM success, first off, is to unify. If you're able to get to what we would call get to one, a single identity, a single role, a single workflow, a single set of security policy, and apply that universally to all user types, to all access types to all applications, all systems, you're able to become much more secure. Now, it's impossible to truly get to one, but you can get a lot closer than you imagine, and that makes things a lot easier. The second is to configure, not customize. If you think about those rigid solutions we talked about earlier, the problem is they're all entirely customized, which means they don't adapt as things change. If you're able to get solutions that allow you to make those changes, you to do it with just configuration instead of customization, becomes much more nimble. You're able to adapt as things need change. The next is to get provisioning right. We talked about provisioning in the first place, but what if a single provisioning action could encompass everything that somebody needs to do? And what if that action could be implemented by the people who know why they should have the access, not how they should have the access. That leads us to the next one, putting the business in charge. The people that know why I should have access to certain things are not the IT department, it's my boss. What if my boss was the one who could make those decisions from both an execution, how do I get that access, to an audit, 
Why do I have that access and is that access right? If you can have those things run by the business, everything moves much smoother, you're more secure, you're more compliant, and more efficient. And finally, automate and enable. Put in as much automation, as many tools as possible that will make the IT workload easier, that will allow people to help themselves, that will automate processes that normally take you a lot of time. And then finally, we should do what I would call future-proof, which is implement solutions that today will solve your problem, but will not stand as a barrier to solving tomorrow's problem. So, if you will follow these simple steps, unify, configure, get provisioning right, put the business in charge, automate and enable, and look to the future as you implement these things, you'll be much more likely to have success and then you can move the business forward instead of having security be a barrier. If you want to learn more, I invite you to visit us on the web at oneidentity.com slash IAM. Thanks.